really the most important thing for a particular city or a metropolis then added up to the state level is to know yourself. I mean, to know which segment of manufacturing uh, that you have a competitive advantage in, what, advantage in, what kind of assets do you have. And we're not just talking about firms here, because what you're seeing really is a geographic clustering where firms, large and small, really interact on a, on a fairly regular basis uh, with advanced R&D institutions, whether they're pri private or public, uh, with skilling intermediaries, with community colleges, um, even moving back into the high schools in, in some parts of the country, and then with specialized firms that might provide uh, strategic advice or even customized capital. I mean, that's what clusters do. Uh, they make two plus two equals five because you have a thick labor market and you have this uh, dramatic interplay between production and innovation um, all across the continuum. So I think going forward, what we're seeing, and frankly, it's because the recovery has been so sluggish. I mean, if this has been a bounce back kind of recession, I don't think you would have seen um, city and metro and state policymakers begin really to shift their focus away from what had been a Starbucks and Stadia focus, you know? Let's build the next performing arts facility. Let's build the next convention center. Let's build the next sports stadium. I mean, they're really beginning to focus now on what really matters to people in place. And it's across this really interesting continuum of innovation um, and skills and land capital infrastructure.